Right, we're into the, the swing, and, and Ben Hogan talks about the first part of the swing, lesson three, and, and you know, how to, how to achieve the back swing. What I'm going to do though, I, I think it's a wee bit out of sequence. And, and the back swing position, this, this picture we can see here, it's, um, it really is achieved from what happens later on in that chapter. He talks about the pane of glass. And that is the relevant part of, of how to get into positions. All the positions that we, you know, we talk about in the swing, you know, from say here and here and so, they're all governed by here by everything's down and together and by turning and keeping everything that way your club almost certainly assuming you're turning correctly not you know not doing a funny kind of turn turning correctly with the arms linked with the body elbows pointing down shoulders down the club will be in the correct position if i uh, say for example go back and you can see what's happening as i'm doing my lifting my left arm out my the hands are changing the position, so obviously the club would be changing position or changing plane. Or, or, you know, the right hand, right arm, same thing. So, the paint of glass was all about, he, he talks about coming through from his head down uh, onto the ball. And, and turning and keeping everything under that pane of glass. Now, for me, that would be me doing it there. This would be breaking it. See, just even that little lifting there. So that's what that pane of glass is about, and it's going back to this feeling right from the setup, set the triangle, and everything's moving back and forward. And there's absolutely no, you know, the, the bones here are not lifting around. We, that's the first thing we're told with putting. And then we just extend it. So the pane of glass is, keep that in your mind, exactly what that means, turning, and synchronizing the arms and the body. Now, as part of this backswing, he actually talks about the, the waggle. And sadly, it's gone out of fashion. <laughs> um, and, and the waggle really was, uh, it's sort of preempting everything. It's giving you, a, I suppose, a, a feeling of what you're gonna do when you swing. And it's, it's really just moving the the hands back and forward, back. I feel as if here, my left hand is almost just hinging the club up. And if I, if you're playing a real nice wee soft shot, the waggle would be nice and kind of relaxed. I think as well, it does help you with tension. It's taken away that kind of tightness in the arms and shoulders so many golfers have. But they're back and forward. And adding just a little bit in, you can actually start to create a bit of um, the, the kind of whiplash motion that all the good players do by going back. And before the club even gets all its way back, you're just pulling back again. And then an, an aggressive one, followed by, you know, an aggressive swing. So something like the, the waggle is something that people should build into the swings. And also, for me, the key part of it is you're getting the feeling that this is where the energy is going to be re released through at impact, not from the dreaded, you know, arms and shoulders. So remember that. Just getting that feeling of nice firm grip and waggling back and forward and really get that sensation of the hands totally in control here. Now, I've got uh, the, the book open at the page here and there's a, a series of drawings here and they talk about the backswing and although it's um you know positions here when he actually swung it was a lovely fluid action and he doesn't really talk anywhere in this book about positions apart from maybe the setup and the top of the backswing and follow through everything else is a nice flowing action and um what is actually talking about here you know the waggle is included in that the pre-swing waggle and then the sequence is set up by moving, initiating it with the hands. He said the hands move fractionally before the arms, which in turn then take the shoulders round, which in turn pulls the chest round, and so on. So that can only happen, though, 
Again, I keep coming back to this, the real core of it all is the, the setup position. This pier, everything's anchored around here. The, the control center of the swing, you know, from the elbows up. So everything's down. As I say, if I don't set up properly and I start my hands away, well, all I've done here is just lift my arms. There's been no proper sequencing of the, you know, the correct parts of the body. So shoulders down, elbows together. And from there, a couple of waggles, getting the sensation. And then back we go. And when you actually stop here, I often say it's actually quite an uncomfortable position to hold because you've really kind of, you know, you've twisted everything. Fortunately, when you're actually swinging, you don't notice it, but doing it and holding it is a bit uncomfortable. So as I say, shoulders down, and we talk about a one-piece takeaway, and what that really just means is you're not manipulating. There's no kind of guiding or hinging the wrist early or whatever. You just start to swing everything back in one. And as you pick up the momentum, the wrists start to load up from the, you know, the weight of the club head. So that's the sort of classic backswing position that um, Ben Hogan was actually talking about. Shoulders down, elbows together. That's the key thing. There's been none of this lifting. So remember, nice waggle, waggle. Set the triangle and off you go. Page uh, 82, 83 here. There's a little sequence of him swinging back and forward. And when, when he'd sort of started piecing things together, I think anyway, I, I try to think how he kind of worked it all out, but um, he then moved on to, you know, the mechanics of the swing are, are very simple, really. Um, he then moved on to the timing, tempo, rhythm side of things uh, and how to load up, store energy and let it go when it's required. Now, First of all, uh, as I'm swinging back and forward, a little check here. Um, I've put a club against my left leg, sorry, my right leg, and when I turn, that angle should be the same. What you don't want to see is any, you know, see when I'm swaying out there, the angle's different. Everything's nicely rotating. The big knobbly vertebrae between your shoulders, the C7, that's the rotation point. That stays nice and still as we, as we turn back. It's, it's not the head, it's the, the C7. Um, but now, if I set up, usual story, everything nicely down, bit of a waggle. Now, if I just start to turn my shoulders, literally the only movement I'm going to do here is just turn, say roughly 45 degrees back in about 45 through. Back and forward. When you're actually doing this motion, let, letting the knees move, you know, you feel your the right knee kicking in here on the <coughs> at the way through, the left knee kicking in on the way back. These have to move. If they don't, the rest of the body gets stuck. So everything's actually moving back and forward. And the key things here, you really start to get the sensation that it's the same feeling back through, back through. And what you're doing, it's like swinging my arms. I'm not in any way forcing it or in any way kind of trying to guide it. It's this freewheeling motion. And every exercise, it'd be worth trying is that, just standing here, triangle, everything moving nicely together. And that, I can't stress enough, that really is the basis of the swing. And I knew somebody who knew Ben Hogan. Uh, in fact, I knew two people who knew him, but one in particular, he said once he worked this out, he did half an hour of this little exercise every morning until he absolutely nailed it. And what then happens, all the sort of different parts of the body start to work and you start to train, you know, everything to move in proper sequence, each one doing its correct job. And you can see here, there's no real thought of any, uh, oh, I must get in position here, 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 I must be, forget it. That's governed by the, the, the concept, shoulders down, elbows together, and everything turning together. So back and forward, left, right. Left, right, left, right. 
and it won't take you long till you really get that sensation of that lovely kind of snap release at the bottom and uh, let's call it totally effortless. Well, just to really recap on this first part of the backswing, and here you can see he talks about this pane of glass again, um, and it's all the idea of, of staying under that. But one other thing he says earlier on in this part of the book somewhere was about the fact that he said, you know, as when he was giving lessons, he said, I didn't think it was much help telling people what they were doing wrong. He said, the idea is just to tell people what to do and then just get them to really understand it. And I've got to actually believe that's, that's completely correct. That's what I've been thinking for, for years, the old fault fixes stuff. What, 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 is, what is the point? You know, why do you, you know, you, you try and correct one fault and usually you end up with another one. So the fault fixes ideas don't really work. And because we've all got the same basic structure, we can build the same basic swing, like all the best players with their own styles. They all look a wee bit different, but the fundamental swing movements, the same. Now, the pane of glass, very simply, was keeping everything down and together. If I do this standing up, what happens is as I turn back, rather than being over like so, as I turn back, my, my hands, I just see my left arm is on the level of my shoulders here. That would have broken the pane of glass. So everything's staying built down under it, like so. And then we, the through swing, as I've, I've released through there, yeah, complete mirror image now. My right arm is now folding across my shoulders. The left arm has folded up, where the right arm had folded on the back swing. Um, so that, that concept starts from, you'd be sick of me saying this, but you know, the set up, set the arms together, get ourselves into this position where on the back swing, the right arm can fold like so, no lifting. So it's the elbows always stay in the constant distance away from you. And then same on the through swing. So remember that, keep everything nicely down. <laughs>